Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Crafty Noob here or you can also call me 13. As you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title, I will be doing an embroidery of Aizawa Shota aka Eraserhead, our favorite 1A teacher from My Hero Academia, also one of my favorite characters from the anime. This will be my first attempt at doing an embroidery with a face and fine details. In the past, I have only done embroideries with flowers and plants, but that was it, so this embroidery was me attempting something new. For this embroidery, I used sewing thread instead of just pulling an embroidery thread apart to get smaller strands because I just found that easier. Also, I used a 6 inch wooden frame for this project. For the sticker part that you saw before, I used sticky Fabri Solvi from Amazon. Basically, you can use it like paper and a printer and print out your desired design and then stick it on most fabrics. It's better to use a laser printer for this to avoid the ink rubbing off, but since I don't own one, I just used regular ink printer. It still worked, but a lot of it did rub off and it did stain the cloth. Also, did not help that my cloth was white. It was also my first time using it, so I'm glad I didn't mess it up. Also, I will be pinning the first comment that correctly guesses what I am watching. Give you guys a hint, it is a live stage play of an anime. So moving on, I have a question for you guys. Do you guys read the manga for My Hero Academia? Because I had a breakdown over the most recent chapter as of recording this, which was chapter 362. No spoilers in the comment, please. But let me just tell you, I almost cried. Around this time is where I show the tape on my finger, which was me attempting to show how I have to put something on my ring finger so it does not hurt as much when I'm trying to use it to push the needle through the cloth. I ended up putting a piece of con under the duct tape and it worked pretty well. Previously, I only had on a piece of duct tape and it did not work at all because the needle pierced right through it and it was stabbing into my finger. Here, I'm just tracing some of the smarter details that were beginning to rub off, and then I took a little snack break, and yes, I am eating chips with chopsticks because I didn't want to dirty my fingers. This embroidery took me around two days to do. I had originally planned to use embroidery thread to embroider the hair because it was thicker, but I ended up going back to sewing thread because the embroidery thread just didn't look as nice. Even though I didn't end up using the embroidery thread, I included a clip of me taking it apart to show the process and the mistakes I went through doing an embroidery like this for the first time. It was a whole learning process for me. Also, I used a back stitch for the entire embroidery. Some people like to use stem stitches or even split stitches, but I felt more comfortable using a back stitch. However, one thing to note is that it might give the impression of gaps in between stitches if the strand is too thick. After I finished the hair, I took it apart and rinsed it in water, and let me just tell you, I was so nervous about this part. I've never used sticky Fabri Solvi before, and I was also scared that some of my threads would fall apart. Luckily, it didn't. I blue dried it a little bit and then left it on counter to dry. While waiting for it to dry, I started prepping for the back. I took a piece of cardboard and cut that to size. Then I printed a manga collage of Aizawa and then cut that as well. I decided I was going to paint the cardboard white, which is stupid because I ended up putting a collage over it. You guys can see here that I have no idea what I was doing. This is the first time I've done a backing for an embroidery. All the ones I've done in the past, I just tighten it up with a thread and then call it a day. To make sure the paper doesn't rip, I put on a coat of Mod Podge to harden it. While waiting for that to dry, I went back to embroider over the parts that needed a filling or just had visible gaps. In the reference photo from the anime, Aizawa had visible white highlights in his hair. There were a total of four different highlights, but one of the highlights was barely showing because I ended up embroidering too close to it so it was basically hidden. I decided to just embroider over it at this point. After making sure that I finished embroidering everything, I cut away the excess fabric, then I cut the fabric into tabs. I hot glued two tabs down first before I realized that I put too much hot glue so it was showing on the fabric when I turned it to the other side. Let me just say, this was the beginning of everything going wrong. After gluing all the tabs, I hot glued the cardboard into the back. I had to force it in because the hard glued on the tabs took up more space and made it so the cardboard was too big. This was a mistake because it ended up making the front look bumpy. Then I made another stupid decision. I have no idea what came over me, but I decided to use the rope that I had and hot glue that along the hoop. I quickly realized the white rope did not look pretty at all with the manga collage background and it kind of clashed with the fabric. Luckily, I was able to rip it off along with the hot glue without ruining the cardboard since I put a layer of Mod Podge over it. That Mod Podge really saved me some tears. I was a little sad about the bumps, but oh well. So here's the finished embroidery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please let me know in the comments who your favorite character is in My Hero Academia. Bye bye!